Whew. Welcome to 23 Degrees Sideways. It's been several days since I posted, and uh, I have a backlog of videos that I haven't posted since because I'm not sure I'm going to post them because they're about heathenry and uh, alternative religious views, and I don't know. I don't know if they're going to go very well. So, in the meantime, what I've been doing for the past week is traveling. I've been doing a lot of travel, and my uh, my girl was also doing a lot of travel, and we've just, just the whole, both of those things, she went all the way across the country, and we've been through, going through, you know, Reno, Vegas, um, Havasu, Kingman, various cities in, in, on the northern part of Arizona. I'm just watching people, and I am, I am utterly amazed at how much the government has gotten away with in the year of 2020. It is utterly amazing to me, and it's very saddening. It's, but at the same time, you know, you know, you can't, you can't blame people. So we were in Vegas for uh, two days, but mostly as a as a sociological observation, um, and it was really it was really disturbing. It was very difficult for me to put up with being there long enough to do my observations, and I don't plan to be back. Um, I don't plan to be back much after this whole thing fades anyway. So in Nevada, Nevada, Nevada is a very good example of what the problem is with the uh, coronavirus lockdown and, and management. You know, a lot of people say the U.S. has messed it up because they want Trump to be wrong. Uh, it's all about Trump. And we're, we're destroying parts of the, of the economy just because it's got Trump has to be wrong or it has to be a bad for Trump. And I really hate the people who are doing this. I, I think that they are um, liable, morally liable, for the utter destruction of small business in the United States, for tens of thousands of deaths, um, just for just an amazing amount of, of destruction just because they don't like Trump. And I really, I really feel that way. I've watched this, you know, Governor Sisolak in Nevada. Nevada is usually regarded as a relatively free state. It's, uh, it's always in the top 10, usually top seven, top six of uh, free states in the libertarian index, or indices. There's more than one index. And uh, that's kind of, not really a fair I don't think the measurements are fair here's the thing right they say prostitution is legal in Nevada that's not really the way to describe it prostitution is legal is not accurate prostitution is heavily regulated and regulated to be permissible in certain circumstances for companies that's accurate okay you absolutely cannot do it on your own. It's not legal. It's regulated for the benefit of a couple of companies. Gambling in Nevada is legal. No. No. Gambling in Nevada is heavily regulated for certain companies. It's not legal. I can't lay out a game here at the rest stop. Um, you know, a perfectly fair game. I can't lay it out and play it. Well, I'm in Arizona right now, but you know, rest stop in Nevada. It's not legal, it's regulated. Um, and the whole thing, point of this, is that business in Nevada is very heavily regulated. All businesses. Every, everything is heavily regulated. And that's kind of a big deal. And it's a big deal with coronavirus, because right now the governor has complete and total authority to tell you if you can open or if you must shut down. And so he's doing weird, increasingly weird and bizarre rules. There are places in Las Vegas where to be outdoors you must wear a mask or the businesses that adjoin that, that outdoors area will get shut down. So they have rent-a-cops forcing you to wear masks so that the businesses can stay open in public walkways. You know, we're, we're talking like 20 foot social distancing here, not 6 foot. And it's just 
that's the level of bizarreness that we're dealing with here. And Sisolak is not a is not a very sane man when it comes to this. His 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 answer whenever things improve is to lock down more. He's going to say, well, it's not perfect yet, so I have to target special enforcement. And that's what he's doing. He's using he's using all of the business licensing, the business regulation, as a whip to force people to do what he wants. And people are just, people are putting up with it. You know, I feel bad for some of the people. I feel bad for some of the businesses. Um, but they're being they're literally in a position where the governor will lock, will lock them out of their businesses, will shut them down. And that's what I can't understand is how that has not led to a revolution. I cannot understand how Americans have put up with that. I understand that we're dealing with we're dealing with the virus, so they have an excuse. They have a thing where it's like, oh, do you want to kill people? So there's a guilt trip in there that you can't escape. Um, and I get that part. And I think that's why we haven't actually had full-on revolt, you know. You look at South Dakota, and the governor there has just been like, nope, 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 and nothing's going wrong. The, the, the media tells you that, there, that the number of reported cases goes and skyrockets periodically. Sturgis, or this thing, or that thing, or they open the schools without masks. They're just doing hand washing, which, oh, why would that work? Well, because it's the only thing that does work. Read the papers. We've got 25 years of papers that I've read. Academic studies, hand washing works, masks don't. No, they don't. They have no measurable effect. They don't hurt. Um, so, you know, she's, she's having the state fair. Man, I almost want to drive to South Dakota just to support that. It's so amazing. Of course, we drove down to Havasu this morning just to see what the Labor Day Saturday crowds were like, to see what was going on, and uh, it's crowded. It is. It, it warms my heart. It fills me full of joy to see so many people out, ignoring all the bullshit, because right now it's bullshit. Um, boats everywhere, and honestly, Trump flags everywhere, American flags everywhere. These these are not the people. These are not the people who stay at home. These are the people who travel, and they're all going to be healthy because they're out doing things and not locked in their houses. Um, I don't know. I've I've seen so much bizarre stuff over the past week and a half. I just can't. I can't describe it. I have probably eight, ten videos to do, which I will be doing, um, but I can't, I honestly cannot believe exactly how crazy and disgusting the behavior on the part of governments has been. It is unbelievably bad. And I'm out west. I can't imagine living under Como or in Massachusetts. I just, I can't imagine. I can't believe that more people are not doing crazy acts of violence just because of insanity living under those regimes. Everything is just, I can't believe it. I, I'm glad I did this trip. But I am utterly astounded and, frankly, scared about how bad this is. Remember, stay in the sunlight. Get a tan. You need the vitamin D. You need Vitamin D is a hormone, not a vitamin. You need, it. You need to process it in your skin, not take it in a pill. It has to be produced as a, as a, cortis, cortis, as a steroid um, hormone in your body. Get outside, get a tan, you don't have anything to worry about. Really. Man. Stay sideways, I'll see you more.